So our e-bike wheels with the motors that we offer in Jack 35 are uh, 26 inches, right? And they come with these wheels, I mean, with these rims and then with these uh, tires, right? This is great if you have a uh, bike that uses 26 inch <laughs> wheels. But if you have another bike sort of like this one here, that it's slightly smaller and it's 24 inches, then that wheel just will not fit in there. So let me show you what you can do to put that motor into a wheel that fits in there, right? So here we go. Those wheels that we have are 36 piece uh, spoke wheels, right? So you'll have to get this kit right here or a kit with uh, spokes, 36 pieces that are 178 millimeters, right? And they look like this. This is right here using them. And then he's relacing this wheel with the smaller 24 uh, inch wheel or whatever rim, right? This is the rim that was originally there. If you have any rim that is other, anything other than 36 spokes, then you won't be able to use it. I tried doing it on the original one that came in the bicycle, but it didn't work. So I had to order one um, and now he's relacing it here. And by the way, to relace it, you have to basically, uh, you, you have to watch it, you know, some video of someone explaining how to do it. It's, it's not super complex. You just have to follow the, the right, you know, order of how you're gonna do this, right? So, here we go. All right, so here is the final 24 inch rim uh, loaded in here. So let's see. So the, every two on this side, so what we ended up doing is trying to follow a bunch of guides online to how to do this, but they were all different and they none of them worked. So we had to come up with our own thing, or at least we didn't find the right one, right? So here's, we started from the pivot hole right and then the very next one so then we we tried it there right so then you go one two right to the left and then over here you would go one two three four and then the fourth uh hole then you would put that one and then again one two and then you would count one two three uh four and then you would put it in there right so you would skip four holes up here for every two holes in here and that's how we did it and then you come around and then you do the next ones and then uh then you would cross them over the second time that you do it then you cross over so you make sure that you go to uh the holes that are crossing over and it's the same thing once you do the first one you count one two three four and then two over here and then one two three four and then you just repeat that same thing on the other side. Now, will that work? I don't know. It seems like it's gonna work. Now what we're gonna do is just put the uh, the thing in here, put the tube, and then uh, put the wheel, and then try it out. But this is basically what you have to do to relace these things. And by the way, you can relace this into any size batter, uh, wheel, right? It's, so it's just the smaller rims will have shorter uh, spokes in here and um, you just have to if you know we'll, we're gonna post the sizes for this for so this is a 24 inch rim if you have the sizes for the, the of spokes for the other sizes of rims post them as a comment on this video so that other people that are trying to do this then they can they can do it much easier they don't have to order a bunch of wrong size you know spokes and stuff okay time to test and see if we got it straight how, how straight is it? Oh, it's perfectly straight, look. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna have to... Not to watch some more videos. Okay, so now we have to figure out how to... It's just the tension, I think you gotta turn it and get it get the right tension in the right place to get them to straight. But wait a minute, so... Oh, oh no, but see, it's even this way. So we're gonna have to... Both ways, not just side to side, but down. Right now, the wheel would go like this if you get on it. You would wobble up and down. See how it is moving up and down a little bit? 
Okay, so we'll, little... we're gonna mess with it a little bit. Good, yeah, I think. Okay, so you just find the high points and then you tighten them and then the low points, you loosen them up a little bit, right? And then it's, that's kind of fixing them. So far, it's actually working. There you go. Just a couple of little... Just a couple of slots still. We just have a symbol stand here. Yeah, I just need a fixed point to be able to tell, you to know. To look at the height. Yeah. All right, I think we got it pretty close. It's still a little wobbly, but nothing bad. So you probably you won't be able to feel that at all when it's you're not rolling. the way it was. Yeah, it was it was it was really wobbly at first. You could see it without a reference. So the way we did it eventually, essentially is from the valve point, um, we essentially grab the first two. Two adjacent and, ones, right? Yeah, the two that are... It doesn't matter where these are because you just turn it. So it's yeah. the only thing that the reference point is the, the one up here. Yeah. I just, I think that we just needed a place to start. Yeah. Right? So it was gonna be that first hole. So we got these first two mm -hmm. and then we crossed them. We went one this way and we counted one, S two, three. Skip one and then the next yeah. one used the other one. Yeah, so we started this one, goes to the first one, this one goes to the third one. And then you skip one and then you start again. Yeah, so you skip one per for each one because that's all gonna be on the other side. Mm -hmm. So then we went to the next two, skip one, and then we went this one to this way, this one, this way. Right, skipping one. So every skipping. two here, it's, every two here is skipping one over here, right? Yeah. Well, every single one, skipping one. Right? So starting here, we're like, this, we got the first two, crossed them, we went to the first one, and then we went to the third one. So we skip one. And then you skip one, and then from these two, cross them. Okay. Went to this one, skip one. Oh, I see, see. And then we, when we get over here, you skip another one, and then you skip another one. So you're always skipping one, no matter what. Because that's gonna be for the other side. It's such a weird thing to explain. Yeah. <laughs> you know, this one, this one, this one. <laughs> it just doesn't sound like anything. Um, yeah, so I think whatever point you pick, all you have to do is skip one on the end over here. Maybe it's just easier the way I did it. Skip two, skip four, then, you know, skip two, and then you skip four, and then you put that one in there, and then you come back and do the, the outside one. Yeah. Jay, who needs your help? Do we? You know, on the video, you're asking for like, oh, can you help me with something? Do we have, <laughs> yeah. Do we have a bunch of these uh, no. that are like bent or missing uh, oh. spokes or they're, let's go look at them. Okay, so, oh, look at that. Someone was asking for rears. Yeah, I think these are, this the, might be a different kind. No, I think these are just missing the fulcrum. Oh. One, but this one has it in the back. Oh, I see. Yeah. So there's some of these that are like warped and missing maybe some, yeah. some of the spokes or they're, they're crooked or whatever because I got crush on the, pallets and stuff right yeah most of them are complete but, yeah. okay so we what we're gonna do is we're gonna post those maybe at a discount so that you guys can use those to relace them uh and we do have a few that are already uh out of the thing right oh probably that one over there yeah we have a few up there and then we have a few in here but mostly and then there's another one over there oh yeah okay all right all right, so I hope this is a little bit helpful if any of you guys out there that are thinking of using these with different size wheels, right? Um, we, as soon as we have like a pallet or two pallets of these uh, ones that are bent or somehow compromised that are not, you know, 100% uh, ready to use, we'll post them on our website at a discounted price so that you don't have to buy one that's pristine and you could, uh, you could use that, right? Um, otherwise, you'll just have to order a regular one and then take the, the spokes out and then just put new spokes in there. So, thank you for watching this video. We'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.